Hey guys, today I thought I might do a little uh, video on this little module here. Uh, now what this is, is, this is the DC to DC boost buck adjustable step up step down automatic converter XL6009 module suitable, suitable for solar panel. Yeah, no, I'm reading that off there. But anyway, yeah, this is the um, step up slash down converter. It uses the XL6009 um, module inside there. And uh, today we're going to give this a little bit of a test. We're going to see if it actually works, which I'm sure it will. And um, yeah, we're going to see how good this thing really is. So I actually have one already set up over here. And uh, you can see here we currently have uh, 7.3 volts coming out of this battery. And uh, we're going to see how low and how high this thing can go. So uh, the input is, I believe, around 3.7 uh, 42 uh, uh, volts I believe that's the input and the output is around the same so um, yeah the output is adjustable by this little um, potentiometer I think they're called now uh, you can adjust the voltage from there and we're gonna give that a try so now you know the voltage is currently about 7.3 on this battery right here so I'm just gonna go unplug these uh, alligator clips and we're gonna go connect it up to this little module here alright so we are back and as you can see I have the battery and it is connected to the little module here or little board and then here I have my uh, alligator clips connected to my multimeter and as you can see we are currently getting 2.8 volts now I have set this to the absolutely lowest it'll go so here let me get my scooter over here and if we just here we go just stick this on uh, as I turn this uh, you can see the volt oh, oh it does fall down further right so 1.3 is the absolute lowest hang on let's let me just change the mode on the multimeter I'm just gonna We'll just back on as as you can see, uh, one point uh, two seven is the absolute lowest output voltage of this thing, and the max. Let's just switch to the multimeter again into its high voltage mode. All right, so now we're gonna just t t twist this as you can see, and then the voltage is now rising as I increase this. Now, yes, this is a variable converter, so oh, I think so. It's a um automatic converter. Or adjustable whatever it's, it's automatic so that means no matter what the input voltage is the output voltage will always stay the same so even if this battery uh, starts going down so for example um, if the battery starts to run out and it starts going down to 5 volts if you set this thing to um, 12 volts it'll always stay at 12 volts so even if this that if even if this battery is um, like I said at about maybe um, 4 volts it'll still stay at 12.6 um, I believe, I'm going to test this later, but they say that the absolute minimum this little uh, thing can go to is around 3.7 volts until it just, it, it won't function anymore. Um, but we're, we're going to find that out in a second. But anyway, that's enough murmuring. Let's see how high this thing can get. So keep in mind the input voltage that we have here is currently 7 volts, around 7 volts. So let's see what we could convert that to. So already we're currently getting 16 volts or 17 volts, which is 10 volts more than what's being provided by that battery, which is quite, quite uh, impressive. Now we're at 21, 22, we're still turning this. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. We're coming close to the end here and... Oh, it's still going, all right. There we go. So now I'm turning it and nothing is happening. So our absolute max voltage is 49, 49.4. Our maximum voltage that we could get out of this is 45.4 uh, volts, which is actually really impressive. Like I said, this was previously 7. I don't know why I'm using the screwdriver as a point. I guess it's just fun to do so. But yeah, uh, this 7 volt battery... Um, gets boosted by this little module to, oh, this little, I'm going to call it a module. I know the module is probably just that little part there, but I'm going to call this whole thing a module just because I can. So this little module can output 40, uh, up to 45.4 uh, volts from 7 volts, which is really impressive. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to now find out what is the absolute lowest voltage this thing can uh, go to before the, bat or before the, um, module will cut off. Now the way we are going to do that is we are going to enlist the help of a second module. Yeah, and we're going to connect this to this. And we're going to just, uh, we're going to keep turning the voltage down on this until this little guy uh, stops working or gives up. 
I'm gonna go get this all wired up. Okay guys, so here I have the first module and that's connected up to my multimeter and as you can see we are getting exactly rock solid 12 volts. And we're gonna go disconnect these leads now. And uh, we're gonna go and see what output we are getting on this second module. And we're gonna see how low we could go until this module cuts out. Now, I did see somewhere on the Banggood comments that uh, this module actually, if, if you go below 3.7 volts, it'll jolt up all the way to 14 volts. So we're gonna go see if that's actually uh, what happens with the, this one anyway. And uh, hopefully it doesn't do that. But um, yeah, let's give this a shot. All right guys, so uh, currently I have this set on 5.5 volts. Maybe I'll tilt, uh, I'll put this back down to five, three, one, two, five. Man, I stuff this if it, oh, oh, it is on 5, okay, so now we have it exactly, oh, well, anyway, we have it exactly on 5, and now what we're going to do is we're going to actually reduce the voltage of this, keep in mind that this is currently outputting 12 volts, now, unfortunately, I do have a second multimeter, exactly one like this, but it's broken, so I'm going to go and just tilt this, or I'm going to go and spin this until it will not go anymore, so I'm just going to keep on Turning this until eventually it cuts out. And once it, exactly after it cuts out, or, you know, once it cuts out, I'm going to go and check what voltage is being outputted. So, guys, you'll notice here that I'm as I'm spinning the screwdriver, the voltage coming out of this thing is 100% stable, which is really, really impressive. So, it's going to keep on going until eventually we see it cut out. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, no not yet. Oh, there you go, there you go. See? So, it doesn't look like it jolted up to 14, or it, it jumped up to 14 volts, so that seems quite good. So let's just slowly creep this up, until it kicks back in. Slowly. We want to get the exact number that it'll jump back to life, spinning this really carefully here. There you go. So, go back a bit. Right, so we have the exact amount, so right now we are putting 4.9 volts. And let's take a look at what the input voltage is, so what voltage is actually going into that little module. So, um, I'm just going to go hook this up really quickly. And we are back. So it turns out that this little, this little thing only needs 2.8 volts to get 5 volts output. That's that's quite good. So that's uh, that is lower than the 3.7 3.7 volts uh, minimum in the specifications and it does not fortunately thankfully it does not jump up to um, uh, To 14 volts or whatever the guy said on the comment once it um, Once it goes below the 3.7 volt mark. Maybe he had a faulty one or something like that, but uh, in my case if the voltages get too low, the input voltage gets too low, it'll just shut off. So, that's really nice. Right, so that has been it for my uh, video on this XL6009. So, um, yeah, so as you guys can see, this thing has about a uh, range of about 1.3 volts to uh, 40, 42, I believe, 45 or something. Although, I really don't recommend you guys go over 35, because if you guys look at the capacitors here now, I don't know too much about capacitors and stuff like that, but... You know, if you guys take a look here, it actually says 35 volts, so I, I don't know if you are really allowed to go up to 45 and stuff, because that is a 35 volt capacitor. I mean, I really don't know, maybe it's fine. Uh, it didn't blow up in my case, but uh, I would say just keep it below 35 and above 3.7, and you should have a... Um, I get great experience using this. I don't know what to say. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I bought five of these, actually. Let's see. One, two, three, four. There should be one. Yeah, I don't know where the other one is, but I bought five of these. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Where's my screwdriver? I'll throw this in the camera. Woo! All around me are familiar faces.